We are the world. Good morning. We are the travel trolls. <laughs> we are the ones who have got up today to entertain you. Oh God, you're giving me a headache. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. What's all that about? I've no idea. <laughs> Makes it sound like I'm really happy and I'm not. Mm. Um, stressful. Well, you ain't after carrying that box up here, are oh, you? I've put it Where away now. It? Oh. Thank you to the family who gave me the um, fat balls, fat balls <laughs> yesterday. Thank you very much. And my fat balls have just arrived, so I've now got two hundred and fifty-three fat balls. <laughs> 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 oh well, I just had to carry hundred and fifty up. They were quite heavy. Yes, they were. So today is delivery day, Mazzy. Yeah. So many deliveries due today. But a lot of them ain't coming until late, later, later, later. Yeah, on. DPD, <laughs> tea time. So I'm going to have to hang around for them because that is a fridge. That's a lot of heavy stuff. A fridge, mm. a power bank and an air fryer. Uh. We've got a power bank coming this morning. We've got shopping coming this morning. Yeah. A lot of deliveries. I've got to empty toilets, so I'm going to be up and down there like a chicken, headless. <laughs> you were going to have a barbie today, wasn't you? But the weather is nah. Yeah, <laughs> I could start getting the barbie up ready, but then I'm it's stuck no, in here. No, it's stuck in here. Then yeah, that only takes two minutes. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what we're doing today. We've been trying to print things out. We've don't be showing them stuff over there because that's all. They can't see that. On there. Um, all about us holiday. So I've printed out as insurance for us holiday. We've got a couple more to do. A couple more things need printing. So we've ordered some paper and some. Yeah, but we need paper now. <laughs> some document <laughs> sleeves. I'll I'll try and catch okay. Neil when I see him. Yeah. Get a few pieces of paper. Um, rooks have raided everything on there. I was filming that. I got it all on my camera. I've just been watching the woodpecker on one of us feeders. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we don't know what we're doing now. No. no send. Well, I'm a little bit lost. Because if you're not having barbecue, you're going to have some leftover dinners, aren't you? I might be having leftover dinner for the third night running. Up to you. It's nice, sausage casserole. Yeah. See, two minds think alike, you see, darling. Yeah, I'd forgotten what I was trying to say and I've just remembered. I think no, I'm... you didn't just remember. <laughs> Mazzy just reminded me. Right, so you remember this projector screen and projector? Just found out, I presumed I'd be able to blow that up with the pump from the awning or just a normal pump. Apparently, it needs one of the, I think it's like a pretty big pump, and it's a pump, you need to keep it attached to it whilst you whilst it's up. You know, like you get on a, what do you call them, inflatable slides and stuff. Like a bouncy castle, yeah. you know, like the blower at the back, the, the generator and all that. So. Yeah, you know, like a mini version, so it ain't going to be loud or anything, but I wasn't expecting that, so need to wait for a nice day, unroll that and see what the connector is and I might have to order some kind of thing to blow it up which I'm really annoyed about because that wasn't the plan. No, no. <laughs> if, if it is the case you should contact them. Well no because it says on the description of the product pump not included. But I didn't think oh. that would be a problem because I thought well our pump for us on and will do. But now I've looked into it, no, I, I don't think it's the kind of pump we normally use, so we'll have to wait and see with that one. Right, let's do something. Come on, let's get the day started. I did actually get some pretty good clips on this this morning of the rooks. There are about 80 different video videos of the rooks all over here. They've, look, they've bird mucked all over my fence. Not good. Um, yeah, there was a rook here just pecking like that constantly backwards and forwards so all them fat balls have gone they've emptied that one uh, and they can't reach this one the woodpecker was on that last night and the, as you can see cannot get to these two so this is the way forward so that can go 
And we said that it would be alright up here, it wouldn't be able to reach up there, I don't think. But uh, That's going to be able to go, that can go. These, I think I just need like four of them, really. Right. Maz is going to do some washing. I think I'm going to have to empty the toilet. Putting it off, but it needs doing. Right, I've done very well today. So from now on, the washer and the dryer are not living in here. They're going in there. And this is pretty free now. That's my bird stuff. This is for the tip. So all this is free. I've got to put that in there. And what I'm going to do is build the barbecue, build the pizza oven, have them in there, ready to use, because we are going to be using them at least four times a day, each one. Because I'm going to start eating pizza, bacon sandwich, steak, pizza, um, don't know, full English, like a mixed grill type thing, pizza, uh, hot dogs, pizza and then a few burgers and I'm going to have that every day so they're going to get used constantly so they need to be right at the door ready to pull out soon as weather changes obviously we can't make barbers in this horrible rubbish weather having said that back in t-shirts John Smith's 3.4 percent one built barbecue I can almost smell them sausages already now it doesn't look clean but seriously it's a barbecue this is what they go like after a couple of years and Mazzy actually gave that a really good scrub before we packed it away last year that's as good as it's gonna get and to be honest with you I don't care I'm only cooking for me and Mazzy now and again so you're excited aren't you for what barbecuing I ain't barbecuing that's a man's job it's raining no what I mean is it means no washing up Oh yeah, yeah. No yeah, cooking, definitely. no washing up. Yeah. And I like cooking, especially barbecue I things. I like cooking, but I, I don't get involved with the barbecue. No, I, I'm going to get right into it. Barbecues and pizzas, it's the, it's the thing to do. I'm really excited about it, but I've just realised we were going to have a barbie tomorrow maybe. I don't think we can, Mazzy, because we're running out of gas, remember? Can't have that. Can't waste that on that. Can't waste that on my tea. Right, well, let's go down in the morning. They haven't got any. Well, give them a call. Give them a ring. They haven't got any till the weekend, they told me. No, that's the other shop. They're right next to each other. They're both going to get deliveries at the same time. Oh, Trust me. Oh, I don't know. I'll just have to wait for my barbie. Well, you put fresh rolls in everything now. Well, I'll have them in the frying pan. I don't know. We'll sort something out. I ain't cooking. You told me I'm not cooking. Well, what I'll do, one. I'll put everything, I'll freeze everything in this new freezer we're getting. And unfreeze them when I get some gas. How's that sound? We need to get some pizza dough as well and pizza ingredients. Is. You can get whatever you want. Did you notice I said ingredients? You've got me saying it now. <laughs> ingredients. Oh, Dan's done very well today. I told you it was spitting, it's spitting. No, it won't be <laughs> He'd left all the barbecue out and all that, and I said, it's spitting, darling. Yeah, looking good. Well done, babe. So he's got that. I thought you were setting up the pizza oven as well. I was, but I think I'd rather get this stuff out of the way first. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a clear up in here, because we've got more stuff coming today, haven't we? Yeah, a lot more. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? Sorting my girl stuff out. What are you doing? Why are you coming in pestering me? What them? My nails. Sorting my nails out. For what? What is wrong with you? What are you sorting them out for? Just sorting my nails out. For your holiday? Yeah, I'm just trying to make sets up. Ah. What, what is wrong with you? What I do is I... Just go, don't touch, you can't touch. You've really just thrown me off. I'd cut them down to size now and paint them now. Just go. And then all you have to do is stick them on when you get there. Just go. Save time. Right, 
we've had a delivery late yesterday. I'm going to go show them what it is. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Somebody hasn't woken up yet. I have, I'm just doing my own thing and you come interrupting me. <laughs> right, so late yesterday, very late yesterday, we took delivery of an air fryer. So, I'm going to unbox it now and then Mazzy's going to mix, I think she's talking about uh, some chicken and chips. You can't go wrong with chicken and chips to test an air fryer, can you? So we're going to take a look at this now. So, this is the, I'm presuming it's pronounced Chevry, Chevry, Chevry Smart cooking system AFW20 air fryer don't know what that stands for I'm guessing the AF is air fryer W20 no idea uh, let's just get inside it I think what we'll do I'll unbox it tell you a few things about it and then hand it over to Mazzy to do the actual cooking like we did in his other review the other day now the box itself for this is a, a double, you know, a two compartment air fryer. So the box itself is not that big for a double one. And this is a big one as well, big compartments. I'd have thought it'd be big, but it isn't that big, which is good. The smaller the better as far as I'm concerned. It's obviously going to be quite big, but uh, it's not overly big. How can I get this out? Come on. And here we are. We'll get there, we'll get there. Right. Here we are. Look at this. Now we've reviewed, I think only one air fryer in the past. But we have used quite a few of them, so we've got a good idea about them, you know. <clears throat> Inside the box, looks like a little recipe cookbook, cooking chart, a warning leaflet, and there's a couple of these like, I don't know what these are, like grills, maybe they sit inside the, um, inside each compartment, it looks like it. So this isn't your average air fryer, guys. It's pretty special, this one. Because it's got windows on the front, so you can actually see it cooking. Rather than having to open the doors and let all the heat out, you can actually just look in there, which I've not seen on an air fryer before, so that's quite cool. Right, we're fully unpacked. That is quite big. So this is two four litre trays. So eight litres of food can be cooked in here. Eight litres. Now our, the one we're using at the moment I believe is six, six and a half litres, just one compartment. And I thought that were big because I've seen them out there and they're only four litres, some of them. Um, so to have two four litre ones very happy with that. So this, yeah, it's got like little rubber bits on there, so I'll obviously just stick one of them in each. So that doesn't sit right on the bottom, so any fats and things would sit would drain through that, that's good. And it's not just an air fryer either. I'm gonna get into the stats and stuff in a moment. But let's just get these in. Ah, hang on, am I meant to just sit them on that? I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll leave that for Mazzy to sort out. I'm going to have to plug this in so we can have a look at it, can't I? Here we have it. So I've plugged it in. And the only light which comes on, it's not going to show very well on here, is it? Until we get it inside and Mazzy gives it a good, uh, as a cook with it. But there's just one light on, which is the on button there. 
So you've got left and right. Um, press that and all the buttons come on. It's all flashy on here, I know, I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it is with these LCD um, screens. So what can this thing do? Air fry, obviously. Roast. Air crisp. I don't even know what that is. That's interesting. Broil. Bake. Dehydrate. Reheat. That's going to be very, very handy for us. And grill. So Mazzy could actually cook me something in the morning. And then when I'm ready to eat it late afternoon, I can just press reheat. That's I do like that function. Now... So if I wanted to put something on now, let's click air fry. Uh, here's your temperature. So air fry goes up to 205 degrees Celsius. And as low, I believe, as 85 degrees Celsius. 80, 80 degrees Celsius. So let's see how loud this is for a start. Um, play it. It is on. It's doing the left and the right to together. Can you even hear that? That is very, very quiet. Now the beauty of this is, your light. So there is a light on in there, which again, you're not going to see very well until we take this inside, but there is a light on in there, so that you don't have to open the drawer to see if anything is... Uh, cooked or burning. Hello. You've made a start without me. Yeah, I'm going to hand this over to you in a minute so you can cook me some lovely food. Oh, how do I open that? Oh, you push it, do you? Oh, it's got a light inside. Yeah, but you don't have to open it because you can see. You can see your food in there. Yeah, but it's always nice to open it. Shuffle it about. Um, Swanky. So, it's cooking at the moment very, very quietly. When you turn this off, let's just turn it off and watch what happens. Cooling, Mazzy. Mm -hmm. 17, 16, 15. So it takes about 20 seconds to cool it down. Which is also another nice feature. Right, let me just go through a few facts on this, Mazzy, and then it's over to you, really. I don't know what to say about it. Chips and chicken. Right, I've been going through the instructions, he books it things, he bits. We've got a chart here, so this gives you an idea of how long to cook things for. Air frying, air frying cooking chart, and then on the back you've got air crisp cooking chart, dehydrate chart, so it gives you a good idea. So what are you going to cook for me today? Uh, I've to changed my mind, it's going to be quiche, quiche and triangles. What are them triangles called? Hash browns. Hash browns, yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> so, um, you can obviously... I say obviously, it's quite a new thing, isn't it, in the last year or two. Uh, you can set this one to do a different heat to that one, and they'll finish at the same time. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Now, there is something on here which you might like, because you just mentioned, oh, I like to get it out and shake it, yeah? Yeah. There is a shake button, so it'll remind no. you. It'll remind oh, you. Oh, it reminds you to shake it. Halfway through. Oh. To, to shake it. I like this. This is like a safety feature, isn't it? Having to push that down rather than kids. Yeah. I like that. Now you've also got... Oh, that's higher. Yeah. Um, it's quite warm, actually, because I had that on, didn't I? This is oh, yeah. so that you can get things closer to the heating element if you wanted to. Right, OK. But we won't want to Not do today, that. today, no, because So we'll put frozen. it to the bottom. Yeah. So I can line these still with... Um, Liners. Of course you can. Yeah. Do whatever you want with right, it. Right, bring it in then. Uh, hang on, I haven't finished. Oh. <laughs> so, you can cook faster, energy saving, crispy, juicy and tender results can be yours while saving up to 80% on energy. That's something people forget about air fryers. Yeah. You're saving a lot of energy. 80% yeah. of energy. Yeah. I, I personally feel like they're better than ovens. They are. Don't get me wrong, sometimes you need an oven for a certain dish, but this... I don't think you do nowadays. Uh, like if you're doing a hot pot or something, obviously. I bet. You know, you've got them uh, metal tin trays. Yeah. I bet you could make anything you wanted in there. Do you know what I'm going to do now, actually? I've changed my mind. I want to try this, and I've never, ever really, really, really tried it on an air fryer. 
I want to try a jacket potato. A jacket potato? Yeah, a couple of jackies. Two jacket potatoes? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Why not three? It's, it might take time, but let's go for it, yeah? Okay. So, are we ready? Are we comfortable? Yeah. I'll have, obviously have to come in with you. Yeah, because I don't know how to operate, how to operate it. it, yeah. It, it, it does look daunting when you see all the buttons, but let's, it's just a matter of using We'll bring it, it in and let me see if I can do it straight off without reading instructions. No problem. Let's do this. So we're struggling with us potatoes at the moment because they're not very good. They arrived yesterday from Tesco's home delivery. And this is what happens when you get home delivery. You can't pick your own. And to me, they're not they're nice. They're not great, are they? And the Maris Pipers as well. Never mind. They'll but do. But anyway, I'm just going to do. do a test on them anyway. I'll put the triangles back. Well, no, we still want something crispy, crispy. Yeah, I can do that. So what do you, want you know, me? just to test it. Well, I can't put everything in there, can I? Well, even if you just put a couple in, just so we can see how they crisp up. Yeah, and that. Yeah. Shall I leave those? No, 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 no. Let's let's go for all three. Maybe just do half of that. No. I don't know. I can't really do half. This is frozen, by the way. I froze this. Okay. So. I just Be interesting. Hope, hope this is actually going to fit in. Let's just take a look. I keep forgetting that's got that safety look on here. That's a good thing with these sort of things. You can just squeeze them down. Yeah, you'll get it. Bear yeah. in mind that's frozen, so give that a minute or two. I can squash that a little bit more. <laughs> Something I did notice as well. What? Whilst putting this down, if you just hold the camera a moment. Yeah. It's got rubber feet, so it's it doesn't slip. Okay. It doesn't yeah. damage your glass top there. Yeah. So I liked that. See the light through there now, can't you? Yeah. You can see the food very well, actually. So there is one other thing I want to take note of as well. We did a review on one of these once before, and it got so hot behind it. Ah, uh, yeah. It was absolutely ridiculous, if I'll be honest. So I want to know if this is going to do the same. Okay. It's got a fan or something. It's... No, it's not got no... So hopefully, it's got no fence. So hopefully it shouldn't get hot behind it, you know? Even um, so, though, I think we should move it away from the plugs. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure They're it'll be fine. Batman. Right, I just need to get some liners. As, um, as new cafe people should be, um, as it did it last night, I think they were due. Oh, yeah. Not sure which pitch they're on. So these are just round ones, but as you all know, you can squeeze them into any shape, so it doesn't matter. That'd be fine. At the end of the day, an air fryer, you can do whatever you want with it. Fits, fits. <laughs> you can adapt it to do whatever you want, and especially with this having all these different... Um... Yeah. Oh. Right, so you want a couple of these done first, yeah? Well, just put them in with it. With that. Well, I might be able to get them in with this. I should have lined that. I'll come back to you, yes. yeah? Yes! So you're putting a tablespoon of oil on them? Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to. I'll be honest, I don't... I've, I've never really used air fryers as much as I should have done. I just throw a few chips in, that, that's about my experience with them, but... When have you thrown chips on? Let's be honest now. Um, Maybe when I've lived on my own many, many years ago. You didn't ago. have an air fryer then? There. Right. Right, so in the go I'm gonna pop them in. Obviously they're all different sizes, so they're going to take different times. But that's the experiment part of the fun. Yes, it? it is. It is. Right, I'm just gonna wash my hands. So I squeeze these into there by the way. Yeah. So that's good. Right, let me wash my hands. A test. Now this is a good test also for me, is to see how well a sausage browns in this. And these are Lincolnshire sausages, yeah. so they're already a whitey colour to start with. The finest. Now, I'm struggling on a bit of room in here, really. I'm really pushing me luck, but let's go for it, shall we? Yeah. Right, I need to wash my hands again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, we might be here a while now because Maz is going to try this without instructions yeah, or I without have no my idea. help. I haven't watched you. Don't be watching me then. <laughs> right, so that's an obvious. That's on, right? So I'm going to go. So, look, I can see you. You're trying to get involved. Wait and see if I can do this, yeah? Just shush. I'm just filming. <laughs> right, I want air fry. 
I want... 200 degrees. Uh, honey, <laughs> leave me to do it. Right, that's 200 degrees, right. Yes, because they're jacket potatoes, and it says in here, uh, 25 minutes for... Well, it just says potatoes... Stick with a fork, 200 degrees, 25 yeah, I'm minutes. I'm not really one for instructions. Everybody knows that. Right, and it has now got to figure out the time, though, so I don't know how to change the time. Let me think of it. There's your timer, look. Oh, yeah, why ain't there one on that side, then? Well, you don't... It's all one, isn't it? Well, not really. No, you don't press that bit, Mazzy. You turn up and down. Oh, yeah. <sighs> one o'clock... 30. Oh no, hold on, so it's got to go by time. Right, I think I figured it out. Dan's still reading the instructions. See, I've got it done before you even finish reading that page. So we're on 23 minutes, 24, 25 minutes. So that's the left. Oh, is that minutes? I thought it was the time. Yeah, I did initially. Right, so we want to go to the right hand side. And I'm going to go 160 on the temperature. That's what I normally do on mine. So, I've got to go back over there to the temperature. I'm going to bring that down to 160. Yeah. Time. about, But I want to shake halfway through, a reminder. All right, well, we'll set it and shake is on now. Shake's on. Shake's it's on, gonna right. tell you. It's going to tell you when to shake it. That's cool. Right, so... You need your timer. Are you having it on 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. So, what, just press no, this? No, 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 no. No? <laughs> That's the start button there. Ah, Play. It is so quiet. It's quiet. I was thinking, is that on? You can hardly hear it. So, 200 degrees on the left for 25 minutes, 100 degrees on the right for 20 minutes. 160 degrees. Oh, 160. Sorry. And it's got shake. I would like the light on just because I can, can't I? Yeah. So look let's at that. Look at that. <laughs> let's just stand here. Let's just do a. Let's just all watch this. <laughs> Keep it running for twenty five minutes, and let's just look at these cooking. Right. Can I just say now though? Here it does say. Well, dance. I told you it was going to blow if you don't turn the heating off. As electrics. Go. Yeah. Turn the heating off. <sighs> That's mega cool. So the electric did go off, which meant that totally switched off reset the electric and it's still got the settings on there so i didn't have to redo all that that's actually good the only difference is it went back to 25 minutes so the first 30 seconds we did yeah um it cancelled that out but it kept all your settings oh, yeah that's cool that's cool but as lights have yeah come the out, lights yeah we want as lights on so dan, i was in the middle of trying to say dan said a jack of potato in here will take 25 minutes I can't believe it. What, do you think it'll be longer or short? Gosh, longer. Longer? Yeah, so... That's what this says. We'll have to see then, won't we? Yeah. Faster food. Energy efficient. I like the fact you can change temperatures on both sides. That's good. Do you want to know a price on these? Yeah, go on then. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these from, guys. Um, was... Or recommended retail, I'm not sure which, £179.99. But if you go on the website at the moment, they're £114.99. Ooh. And I think, if we're lucky, we might get a discount code. Oh, that's um, cool. But it will all be in the description, so follow it, get yourself one, yeah. enjoy. You've got to remember, this is a big double one. Oh, how many litres is this? Have you told them? Four litres and four litres, oh, so wow. eight. Wow. This, this other one is six, I think. Yeah, so that's a big. single one. Yeah, that's big then, isn't it? Massive. The so, only thing you have to remember, though, if you do get one of these guys, just make sure you get some good potatoes and not these rubbish, which we're going to have to throw in the bin. So just one more thing. I'd like to know what that's, how that's going to alert me to let me know when that's cooked. Is that going to bleep or something? Or don't you it's know It's probably... Yet? It depends where you are. If you're out there, it's probably going to come out, tap you on shoulder and say, I'm ready. <laughs> That's how advanced this thing is. <laughs> it's obviously going to bleep, isn't it? Oh, don't the lights actually stay on then? Is it only just have a quick peek, is it? It must be. Maybe they're just... Oh. Um, or maybe they're... You know, it's an energy saving thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So already it's only been three minutes on the whole thing and we can smell quiche. Which reminds me that the quiche is only... It's not really needing going to need cooking. Now I'm going to see what happens if you open the door. 
Yeah, that's only actually going to need sort of defrosting and a bit browning. Oh yeah, yeah, so you can shut the, open the drawer and shut it and it all goes back to its settings. So remind me, I've got to keep an eye on the quiche, that's not going to take 20 minutes. So I've been sitting out there, it's too cold and as soon as I come in I can smell good food cooking. So this one's actually got 2 minutes and 48 seconds left, this one's got 7 odd. So let's put the lights on these. <sighs> And then that's just, ch ooh, the jacket potatoes are looking brown. Now, if they're going to turn into jacket potatoes, I'm going to be well shocked. Personally, I feel they might need a little longer anyway. Now, the quiche, I was a bit worried about that. But actually, that's not burning at all. So, should I have a peek? Let's have a peek. Oh, okay, okay. Oh yeah, they're turning quite crispy now. I just want to see if that's frozen in the middle or... No, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's cooked. Right, let's quickly close that. Get it going again. <laughs> 25 seconds left on the right hand side. So I chose 160 degrees for the fact that I weren't following instructions. That's just what I use on my other air fryer. So we'll have to see about this. Ten. I want to know if it's going to bleep. I want to know if it's going to taste nice. Let's see what happens. I'll be able to tell you in four seconds. Okay. Does let you know then. And that one's got nearly five, just under five minutes left. So that's not quite to our no. liking, is it? It needs longer. I think you've got it on too low a heat myself. Yeah, I'm wondering. I'd say this quiche is done now, though. Should we pull that out? You think so? Well, it must be. Well, it was frozen, it's, though. Well, it's only defrosting it, though, aren't you? No, that's not red hot in the is middle. Is it not? No. No. Oh, OK. I yeah. think you need more heat in there. Just whack it right up. Should we pull it on crisp now as well? Can do. Because I want to get these a little bit more crispy now. So what I'm going to do is go for the right. So how do you do that now halfway through? Right, I want to... Air crisp. Yeah, air crisp. On... Okay, we'll just go 200 degrees then, shall we? For or is that too how much? how long? Oh, just 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yep, press plate. There we go. Right, let's put the light on. I'd like to see what's going on. And then I might do the same with the jackets if they're, because it's got four minutes odd left. You can't believe they're going to be ready. No, can you? no, don't. Although they are looking a bit brown, I can see they're looking brown. So if these are cooked, I'm going to be shocked in 25 is, minutes. A lot of people say with jacket potatoes, put them in the microwave for a couple of minutes first and then in the air fryer, which I don't think is a bad idea because then you're making sure the middle is cooked. Yeah. And then you're just crisping it in the air fryer. Can I have my say on that? If I'm faffying, right, putting spuds in there for 10 minutes and then in here for another half an hour. To me, that's just driving me bonkers. Yeah, you don't have to. So I'm hoping you don't have to. We'll see, won't we? And I will be honest, you know what I'm like. Right, so we've got three and a half minutes left. Right, one thing I forgot to test also is if, if is the heat behind it going to build up? So I'm just feeling it. Don't get me wrong, it's a little bit warm up there, but it's, it's fine. Nah, it's fine there. nothing. It's fine there. It's not hot. You, you won't not burn hot. yourself. No. And at the back... Oh, it is a bit hot there. But it's not too hot. But, yeah. It's not blowing like that last one we nah. had, though. We were wondering what this... If this came yeah. off, but we're not going to try it. It doesn't say anything in the instructions, but it just seems strange. Maybe that's just so that you can take it off and clean it out or repair it if anything goes wrong. I don't know. You're not repairing nothing. So anyway, I do still recommend just to not have it directly next to a wall and stuff like that, as they do recommend with all air fryers. All right, two minutes left, jack of potatoes. So this is a 100% true test for us, isn't it? Yeah. Can this thing cook 
Um, I shouldn't call it this thing, should I? That's not very good for a product review. <laughs> uh, this Chevry air fryer. Yeah. I can't remember the model number now. AW AFW twenty. Can it? It's done. It's done. It's done. Can it do jacket potatoes in twenty five oh, wow. minutes? Okay. Well, the colour is incredible. The colour is amazing. Right, we need the big one out, Mazza. Right, I want the big one out. I'm we just... need to cut it open and see if it's cooked mm. in the middle. Feels hard. So, so I'm going to take the smallest one as well, right? Right, let's get them cut open. Yeah, no. No. It's too hard. Too hard. <sighs> That's got to be ready. Mm, yeah, but I wouldn't. No, hard. Well, this is why That's hard. you should put them in the microwave for a bit first. But... We're going by the instructions on this one. They did say, that didn't say in the instructions to put it into the microwave. Yes, but this is very vague because it says four whole potatoes, 200 grams each. Now, how many grams are each of them? I have no idea. Right, so what I'm going to do is air crisp this now. Yeah. Um, air crisp. I'm going to still stick with 200 and what 15 minutes yeah i'm gonna go 15 minutes well you've picked all this up very well mazza i have it is easy I to don't, use i'll be honest i'm usually kind of in a kerfuffle about these sort of things mm. like everyone knows i don't really like digital stuff but i have picked that up really well and i have no idea how that worked did i no true as god i didn't so Yep, right, this one's just got four minutes left on the right-hand side one. Got to bear in mind, everyone, that this quiche actually was frozen, so that's going to take time. Ten seconds to go. We're going to see if this quiche is finally cooked. <laughs> so, I have got... I wonder if that's the highest heat you can have. Uh, I'm sure I had 205. Oh, really? And it depends right, on go. which setting at the top you have as to what heat you can go up to. Oh, OK. Oh, wow. OK. Right, <laughs> they're looking crispy and done, aren't they? And that quiche is looking oh. perfect. Just kind of ruined it. Oh, wow, that's proper crispy. Yeah, this quiche is looking... Beautiful. Ah. So that's all it needed, really. It, the way I've just done that, really, is cooked it, isn't it? And now all I've done is crisped it up. Now, although that's cooked, that's definitely cooked, I'd like that to get a bit crispier. You do like yours a bit blacker, don't you? What I would do so, with sausages in the future is have them in the middle, raise the bottom thing up. Yeah, yeah. if sausages. you're only doing sausages, but you've got to remember, I had this packed up, didn't I? I think that looks incredible. Can right. I try something now, please? Yep, hold on. I just want to pull it back on an air crisp on this side. I'm going to go... Just for a few more minutes, well, put 10, just for the sake of putting 10, while we try this. Oh, I paused it. You can pause it. That's interesting. All right, you ready to try this? Yeah. In for the taste test. Now, I can tell you this is boiling. You can actually see the steam. Just put your little fingy on there. I'll go right for the middle. You like to cook quiche like this, don't you? Mm. So half an hour ago, this was frozen in the yeah. freezer. Yeah, <laughs> proper frozen. Cooked to perfection. Let's just try this. That's really it, nice and is, crispy is, as well. It's hot and all that though, yeah? Mmm. Yeah, cooked it's to perfection. Perfect. Try these. I've never, I'm not even my air fryer have done these like this before. They've come out really crispy, haven't they? <gasps> oh, be careful. <laughs> Proper nice. Oh, really nice and crispy and hot. Yeah, you can see the steam coming off. Very impressed. Do they taste different to when I've done them in the past in the air fryer, these triangles? I couldn't tell you. You but couldn't. But they do taste better than in the oven. They're a lot crispier yeah. in an air fryer. Yeah. That is bang on. That quiche is amazing. That's your dinner tonight. <laughs> so the sausage is done. It's had an extra 10 minutes and that's now proper crispy. Uh, with the jacket potatoes, now this one is really crispy. It's the smallest one that I cut open. I'm leaving it on for another 10 minutes. I'll explain now in a minute. So I'm going to prepare this, put a little bit of butter and cheese on there and see what Dan thinks of that one. 
the skin on these are really crispy and nice so that actual crisp function is actually really good for people like me and Dan that likes um, really crispy things sorry the camera's moving a little bit oh. there we go so just a bit of butter and we just add a tiny tiny little bit of cheese camera keeps moving hello camera is that for me yeah so this is just the smallest one we're going to explain now in a minute aren't we to why we're adding those on for an extra 10 minutes so do you want to try yeah Proper crispy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice. That function for me and you is really good, isn't it? That's proper. Yeah, crispy. That, that's how you like them. Mm. Oh, be careful, it's hot. Mm. <laughs> mm. Good. Oh, be careful. <sighs> right, that was really hot. <laughs> I'm not just saying this. That is the crispiest sausage I think I've ever had. Yeah. Which isn't on a barbecue. Yeah. That is lovely. That's hard to get them like that. I've even tried frying them in that. And the cr uh, outside on this seems really nice. Just have to let me know if the potato's cooked, which I'm assuming it is. Good. <laughs> Spot on. Again, you've got the proper crispy. Now. Yeah. I'm well impressed. Not a lot of people like the crispy skin on the jacket, do they? Oh, they just eat the inner bit. Yeah, they just that's eat the, the inner bit. bits. So let's just explain why we're going to put these other potatoes on for 10 more minutes. Because it says in here 25 minutes, but I've just looked it up on the internet and it says 40 to 50 minutes to do a jacket potato on the air fryer, air fryer. At 200 degrees. Yes, so we're putting it on for 50 minutes. Yeah, yeah, and then just see who's right and who's wrong. Well, they're obviously wrong, aren't they? Yeah, unfortunately, that's not... Well... But as I said, I don't understand the size. It says 200 gram yeah, each and potato. I don't know how much... Yeah, well, I don't. And also, they didn't actually technically say a jacket potato. As a potato, you could have ate, ate those. Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah. Enjoy. So a jacket potato normally for me in the oven is where I like to do it because you get the crispy skin, which I won't be from now on. Um, generally, an hour and a half, but sometimes I leave it on for two hours. Now, don't get me wrong, you get a nice jacket potato, but you're wasting gas. So, obviously, this is going to be a lot quicker. Five more minutes left on this. You're really enjoying that, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so the last experiment... Jacket Potatoes. <clears throat> Are these jacket potatoes ready after the? Is it fifty minutes? The fifty minutes, which is recommended by online. Go on, on the then. internet. There we go. So that's ready. So take the bigger one out. Well, they look incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're done. They're, them two are definitely done. Oh, that's done. Look at that. Just cutting through it. Yeah, soft. Bear in mind now, you're getting a nice crispy skin. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful jacket potato. So it did manage to do it. Well, this has been going on longer than it should have been. It was only yeah. meant to be like an eight minute review of this, but. Uh, but you've enjoyed it because you got to eat all yes, the day. Yes. <laughs> so, honest opinion. Yeah. We're actually thinking of keeping this as our regular yeah. one now, aren't we? Yeah. Normally, when we review things, uh, once we've reviewed it, we'll get rid of the product. But, yeah. you know, sometimes we keep things. I like this. I like the fact, you know, don't get me wrong, I've had these options before in the past, but this one seems to be really good. I I, I seem to be able to work this a lot easier. I think I what know. it is, I think most of these, especially mm. the dual ones, are very similar um, set up, you know, set with the temperature yeah. on one side yeah. and the clock on the other. What I really like about this is, obviously, the light... The, oh yeah, I love the light. Not having to open it because it's got a window on the front. Yeah. And I love the fact it's got a reheat. So we're going to put all that back in there and I'm just going to reheat that for my tea later on. Do you want to know what I like about it? Or? Of course. I like the fact also that it's a big one. Do you know what I mean? Eight, what is it? Eight? Eight litres. Eight litres, sorry. Four litres and four yeah. litres. I mean, that alone is probably... 
the same size as me round one on its own, really, if you think about it. Well, one thing you've got to realise, our other one is a, a single basket. So yeah. now we've got the option of cooking. You've been throwing things in the single basket and yeah. cooking them all at the same heat, I've same been time. I've trying to, yeah. Now yeah. we can cook things separately. Separately, yeah. And you can actually... You know, you can roast something on one side and air fry on the other. You can grill something and air fry. You could get... We've never done that you before. You could get a uh, roast chicken in there, no problem. Yeah. So that would be one of my next tests. I don't usually bake. Dehydrate, don't use that. But the options are there if you do, so... It does say, I think, you can yeah. have a two, two kilogram of chicken in one side and two kilogram of potatoes in the other, as an example. And they reckon this will feed six to eight people. You could literally do like a whole full Sunday dinner in one one of these, couldn't you? You could. Anyway, what started as a vlog and ended up with uh, cooking me some lovely breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> um, the tit tea's already now for later, so mm, it's a bonus. We'll leave this video at that because it must have gone on and on and on this one. Yeah. Enjoy that um, though. So yeah, go down, link yeah. in the description. Yeah. Uh, I think, what did I say, £119 or something, £115, That's and not bad, isn't hopefully it? a discount code. I'll put that in the description as well. Thanks for watching, people. We're going to carry on filming right now, but we're going to end this here yeah. until tomorrow. So, you all have a good evening. Take care. See love you all soon. Bye bye. Go and buy yourself one.